Hey everyone, Chaos Giga here, and welcome back to the Cyber Sleuth series. I'm going to continue where we left off last time in Chapter 16, where we're helping uh, Yuko out here. And I believe we're going to have some traps up ahead, so we have to be careful. Gonna unlock this. A log of a hacker who passed through here long ago as a message for hackers to come. Hacker hint, darkness lies ahead. If you think you're a great hacker, then you know not to underestimate what looks like nothing at all. Eden is just a collection of data. It's easy to forget with the barrage of data sent to Avatar's five senses, but this is not the real world. A place you thought was a path can suddenly become something completely different. Darkness, it's what lies ahead. If you're a skilled enough hacker to be able to decrypt this log, you should be able to figure out what that really means. Basically, there's warps of darkness that are kind of like a black hole looking thing that will pop up if you run into them. Um, I think on s the next game, if I remember right, it's been a while since I've played it, but I'm pretty sure it has a skill where we can actually reveal traps. But other than that, we don't have anything on this one, so we don't even have the speed up skill. And there it is. That's what it looks like. I chose the wrong side. Luckily, it just takes us to a warp panel and then we just have to start from here, so. Nope. Gotta go through the center, apparently. And we ran into some Digimon. Ooh! Digitamimon! Lots of poop getting thrown in this battle. My plan today is to get through the rest of this uh, part of the chapter, or at least her story here, and then to move on and to start and uh, build up my team in my own time on um, next weekend. I've been pretty busy with writing my book and just real life things, so it's been kind of difficult to get anything. Hey man, we only have the one left? Was not paying attention well enough there. Nice levels there. But anyway, I, I I've just been too busy to actually do live streams anymore, and I just had to cut them out completely again. So, just real life. There's just a lot of stuff going on right now. It is a new year, though. Thank goodness. Yes, I'm certain that these wicked traps could only have been set by Crusader Mon. Probably in order to buy time. They're underhanded as well as malicious. Miss Rai's personality seems to be showing through. What are you laughing at? I finally got a glimpse of the real you. You jerk. <laughs> yeah, I know how to talk to the ladies. <laughs> oh, my character does not. Are shops in your world the same as in mine? I'm going to an amusement park. I doubt our amusement parks are different from yours. Yeah, no. Some of these Digiline things are just nuts. Okay. Please choose right. Did I did I actually make it all the way through the, the trifecta there? I'm actually pretty proud of myself if I just did that. Cause I usually always mess that one up. Oh, 
nice. Oh, you almost got rid of the last one, too. Black War Greymon. Team is coming together, though. Okay, this one I'm kind of questionable on. Hurry up! Gotta use that right away. Like all the previous other times that I've picked one up. I can't believe I just made it through the trifecta there without running into any of the traps. Okay, got another message here. Looks like the log of a hacker who passed through long ago left as a message for hackers to come. Okay, hacker hand. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. If you think you're a great hacker, then you won't hesitate to go anywhere. Even places you thought were dangerous. We're hackers, aren't we? An off-limits path or a secret door, those restrictions don't apply to us. No one can tell a hacker what to do. Even whether to go ahead or turn back, that's something you should decide for yourself. But don't forget, nothing ventured, nothing gained. All right, so left. Nope. I guess this is one we had to fall into anyway for a metal. Maybe not. Oh no. It wasn't. All right, so maybe this way. Okay. Need these scans anyway. Impermons. You shall not pass. お前たちはここで。いや、ちょいと失礼。一つ聞きたいことがありまして、よろしいですか。す、すえどうさん。<笑> さまざまなことがどうでもよろしい。それよりクレニアムモンさん。あなたもロードナイトモンさんと同じく現実世界すべての破滅を望みなのでしょうか。イグドラシルの意志は人間世界の破滅だ。他の動植物の生命まで奪
愛事だ転倒するまでもないそもそもどのような申し出であれ貴様への協力は人間への協力に他なそれはイグドラシルの命に背くことと同意花から起こり得るはずもないやれやれ神への猛獣ですか実に愚かしい貴様我が忠義を愚弄するか思考の停止意志の欠如全く嘆かわしい限りです、ね、ポイン変化すべき世界にとって歯車を止める小石のシェイプガーズシェイプおのれ言わせておけばイグドラシルへの忠義こそおまれであり誇りどうすることは断じて許さん我がマソウクラウソラスにて暴言ごとおや怒らせちゃいましたねしっけいしっけいではあとはあなたがたにお任せしますえ私あらんごとは極めて増えてでして<笑> For now he is. あほらいますよ I can't remember if he's a vaccine type, I think he is. He's probably gonna hurt a lot. Yeah, gonna hurt a lot. That's not gonna work. Let's do a speed break. Oh, skill up. Don't know what that's gonna do. He resisted. Go figure, so I can't do anything. Thanks, Bandai. Make these guys that overpowered. Bunch of jerks that work for that company. What's the point in having those moves if you can't even use them? Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to uh, swap out my Black War Greymon. I need these two Platinums to stay in here for the experience, because I really want that experience. Shouldn't get to go for a turn or two. Oh. I'm gonna try Rosemont Burstmont for my healer in this round because I've played these games so many times through. Just because there's so many Digimon, it reminds me of Digimon World DS, Dawn, and Dusk. That's why I keep playing them over and over again. Wow. That basically did nothing. This guy's got a lot of power. And defense. Thank you. It's just gonna be a long battle with the poop mons. But you want that experience, you want them to stay in the battle, so. This is gonna hurt. Okay, I guess it wasn't that bad. 
Helpless. That might be the opening I need. He still resists. And still blocks the paralysis. That's so dumb. I miss the good old days when we actually could uh, use stat reduction moves and uh, it's it's nothing like Pokemon. Where Pokemon you can do pretty much everything the moves say you can do. Um, with the exception of the one hit KO moves which have a very really low percentage of accuracy which makes sense, right? But I mean on Digimon games it's always been that way. The boss battles they make it to where anything that deals like um, status like a status problem or status effect or damage, it doesn't work. And that's one thing I've always hated about Digimon games. Don't know about anybody else, but that's the one thing I've noticed that I've really, really got a beef with. Breath of the Gods. Oh, God. That counter. Uh, that just really raises his defense up really high, I guess. Whip it! I did nothing. Seriously? Is this gonna keep you reusing that move? That's dumb. Guess I'll just attack while he's keep, he keeps putting that up, because my skills aren't gonna do any damage. Yeah, we're still barely doing any damage, but I mean, that, that's better than one or zero. It's the only way they can make these battles last forever in Digimon, though, is to make sure that you can't do status effects and stuff like that, and I think that's kind of dumb. You could be more creative with that kind of stuff. If you want the battle to last longer, give them more HP. The storylines they make up anyway last long enough to... to make us want to not play the games anyway. To be honest, they're so windy. That's one thing about Bandai I'm really starting to hate. They make all their games, including Sword Art Online, which, don't get me wrong, I love Sword Art Online. Just the fact that they, like, added most of the game is nothing but um, storyline. There's almost no play time. You literally sit there for like two hours to watch a whole bunch of scenes go through, or you can skip them, yeah, but I mean, it's some of the stuff you've never even seen before. It's brand new, so some of us that have watched the anime want to watch the new scenes they have in the game, whereas others just want to play the game. That's why they buy a game, is because they want to play the game. Digimon's starting to get that bad, too. Of course, Dragon Ball Z games were the reason why that started, I think. Already out of SP again. Tickled. Oh. 
This solid crit. Just attack twice in a row. Yeah, lose your bounce, you jerk. A lot of poop coming your way. Oh, nice. Wasn't expecting that. Get him close to being done here. He'll probably use his shield technique for two turns or whatever in a row. That move is so overpowered. Maybe I should have gone for a Cranium Mon. I could still go for one. That was some nice damage. There we go. The poop mods for the win. Let's go. They're my MVPs. Can't beat my platinum poop. Ooh, a memory DX chip. Nice. Lots of levels. Love it. まよいと疑いがあった。あろうことか。幾度らしいれの。そして。ルフトモンたちへの。わずかな。ルフトモンでは。それが。弱さとなったのだろう。いや。そういうことは。先に言っておいてほしかったですね。それに。たとえ弱
あなたは真実を知っているんじゃないですかおやめなさい悲しい記憶を取り戻すのは新たくんだけで十分ですしかし私の理想が叶えば全ての人間が悲しみから解放されます私もあなた方もあなた方の大切な人々ももちろん新たくん私はこの世界から悲しみを生まれてしまった悲しみを悲しみを生み出す原因を人間も世界も私がこの手で進化させてみせるめちゃくちゃです正気とは思えませんそんなことできるはずないのにそうですねできません今はこれも悲しい事実の一つですではまたいずれ Guy is a nutcase. Kanashi me on Nakustai Ninga will shink us a seder. Sonna cotta Fukano ni kimate mase Amarini kodomojimite mase Demo Esora goto iterioni wa miena cotta Kurute rionimo. I like his insane. Tashini wa Karega Dikai de Kinai. I see, nice work. Not to stop the digital wave supply to Exmon, but given his sheer data volume, we're not liable to see a big effect right away. For now, we'll have to wait and see. I must be going then. Goodbye. Oh, and chaos. I'm sorry for the nasty things I said earlier. I was stuck thinking about Miss Rye. I wasn't in the right headspace. You know, when we met, when I said all that? What, you don't know what I'm talking about? Then never mind. I said never mind, just forget it. <laughs> You're something else, Chaos. I said to forget it, didn't I? Then I'll make you forget it. Which do you prefer, hacking or a crowbar? Oh god! <laughs> Women are vicious! <laughs> so you've forgotten then, alright then, no problem. I must be going then, goodbye once more. Seems as if Yuko Kamashiro has changed somehow. Something happened. Oh ho, you summoned her Yuko the Black Hearted version. <laughs> I didn't even call her that. Perhaps it's her doppelganger or something. No, if that was the case, she couldn't talk to us. Doppelgangers can't open their mouths. Then my next guess would be uh, by location. She created another copy of herself through force of will. But why? And wh to what end? Hmm, fascinating. Or it might also be an expression of her persona. Everyone knows that she grew up wearing several different masks. The daughter of a CEO, the leader of a hacker team, the unhappy girl growing up alone. Wouldn't be much of a stretch for her to use these abilities to serve her in the real world. Hmm, this has gotten interesting. This is how a mystery case should be, rife with riddles. You're talking about my friend! Alright, um... Take a look at these real quick, and I think that's where we're going to end the episode. Oops. Yep. Alright guys, that's where we're going to end the episode today, and next episode we'll continue where I left off. Uh, I think the first quest we have to find from a bulletin board outside in Nakano, uh, but without further ado, I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace out. <laughs>